So in our last video, we created a simple view to list out our users and also used our roles relation to list out the roles of the current user. So in this video, we're going to create an edit method so we can edit the user's roles. So I'm just going to change this um, column MD8 to a column MD12, and that's just to make the table wider on the page. So when we add extra columns, it's easier to read. As you can see, the table is now the full width of the uh, container. So let's add a new column to this table. Um, so a new table header with a scope of column. And we're just going to call this actions. So we're going to put our edit and delete buttons inside of this column. So let's create a new row here. And inside of this, we're going to want a link. So we want a, a anchor tag with a href. And we want this to go to our resource controller. So we need to give it a route of admin users edit and then we also want to pass the current user id so that's the current user id inside of this for each loop so each one of these uh, links will be unique depending on the road that it's currently on we just close that off and inside of this link we want to create a button and it's going to be a type of button and it's going to have some basic bootstrap styling just to make it look okay so i want to give it a btn um, btm primary maybe and we'll make it a small button and then we'll give this text of edit so let's give the page a refresh so now that you can see we have our edit buttons for each of our users so let's build up that edit view so come down under resources uh, views admin users and let's create a new file there and we're just going to call this edit dot blade dot php then inside of there i'm going to use the skeleton from the index page so we just copy and paste that over and then um, let's remove that table so we're going to want to pass down the current user they're trying to edit and also a list of all of our roles in our database so let's leave this view here for now and jump over to our edit method in the user controller so inside of here we want to do a check first um, that the current user is not trying to edit themselves because we don't want an admin removing their own admin rights and then locking himself out of the system so let's just do a check so we can just do a simple if here and we want to use auth user and we want to get the current user id and if that is equal to the id passed in here from our edit button then we'll just do a redirect so we want to return a redirect and we want to redirect back to a route and that route would be the admin index page so admin users index okay so then if they pass that check we will return our edit view we just created so return view and we put that under admin users edit and like I said, we want to pass down user and all of our roles. So we're going to use the with method again here. And inside of there, we're going to pass it an array. So the first thing we want to do is user. And we can do that simply with user find. So find gets the first item it can find with a given ID. So we just pass in the ID that's being passed in from the uh, edit button. And then for the second item in the array, we want to pass our roles down. So we're going to do call it roles and we're going to get the role and we're going to get all our roles so we need to bring in auth and we also need to bring in our role model as well so let's use app backslash role so that brings our roles model in and we also want to use laravel's built-in or facade hit save on that so if we come over to the application and we try and click on the edit button of our own user, which we're currently logged in as admin. You see, it just loops us back to the page, so we can't edit ourselves. So let's try and click on edit the author, and we get our blank edit page. So let's build up that page now we've got the data in it. Okay, so in our edit page, let's change this a bit. So let's change from manage users, and we'll do manage user name. So that'll get the name of the user we're trying to uh, edit. So let's give it a refresh. So we're trying to manage the author user. Uh, then in the body, we need to create a form. 
form and with this we want an action and this action we want it to go to a root our admin dot users dot update and along with that we want to pass in the current user that they're trying to edit so we can get user and we can pass it in the user id remember we passed this user model down from here with using the with method okay and we want to give this a method equal to post now laravel is actually looking for a put method when you're doing a update but a lot of browsers don't support this yet so we have to use a method of post and we have to use a laravel method here so we're basically mocking the form so laravel knows that it is actually a put so if we put here method field and then we can put put so even though we're sending this via a post request laravel will pick this up as a put request and though to route it to the update method we also need to put our csrf token in here so we'll just put c s r f and now we need to loop over each of our roles that we pass down remember with, with the with method we got our roles and we got them all so let's loop over them and display them out so we can just do a for each loop roles and then we'll call each one of them roll let's just end that for each and then inside of here um, let's do a div with a class of uh, form check so that's just something built into bootstrap uh, it's just to help style it you don't have to worry too much about it um, and then input it's going to be a type of a checkbox and we're going to give it a name and it's going to be an array because the user can select multiple roles if they wish so it's going to be roles and then square brackets and then the value is going to be the current role in the loop id and then we need to check whether the if the user's currently got this role we need to make sure that it's checked for them so in here we can get our user that we pass down and then we can use our has any role that we built on our user method and we can check whether that role in the loop the user has it or not so we can say user has any role and we can get the current role in the root loop and we can get its name and pass that in so we can say if they have got that role then print out the text checked if they haven't then just print out an empty string so then we're just going to give this a label so we know the name of the role so we're just going to do this current role in the for each loop name now let's give this a refresh and we can see we list out the roles and author has been automatically selected because this user ha already has that role so we just need to add a button into our form now so just a standard button with a type of submit and we're going to give this a class just again some basic styling of btn and we'll give it primary so we're just going to create a basic button with type submit and just going to give it some class of btn and btn primary just to give it some styling from the bootstrap library and we'll just cut Give this the text update give this a refresh and now we can update that user so let's create our update method if we come over to the user controller and I take a look at our update method now to actually save them changes into the database we probably want to protect this update method also as we did with the edit method so if we just copy and paste this down now anywhere you copy and paste code and application is a good place to look at refactoring at a later date so we can probably abstract this check away into another controller or into maybe even the model uh, so we're not copy and pasting code but for now we'll leave it as it is and we'll come back and have a look at that at a later video so what we want to do is we want to find the user that they're trying to edit so we're passing in the id of the user we're trying to edit so we're going to find that user and then once we have that user we're going to do a user roles and we're going to call a method called sync now sync takes in an array of items and it will and it, what it'll do is it'll sync them across the linking tables so because in our edit form we put our roles that the users ticked in the checkboxes into a roles array we can actually just pass that in to the sync method and it'll sync all them role ids and the values across onto this current user that we found here so all we need to do is do the request 
and pass in the roles and that's it um, and then let's return back to a redirect and we'll go back to a route and we'll just go back to admin users index let's give this a try now so hit update so we've come back now to the manage users index page so let's actually edit the author and make them just a generic user as well so let's click edit and we're going to give them the user permission as well and click update and now you can see because of our implode method that we implemented in the previous video it now lists out author and then a comma and then user as that user's roles so we can take away their author status if you wanted and just make them a normal user and we can give them multiple roles as well if we wanted to so in the next video i'm going to implement some flash messages so you notice we were jumping around pages editing and we weren't getting any feedback so we weren't 100 percent sure what was actually happening so let's do that in the next video